Hey, what's up guys? It's Dark Arm Duels, and today doing a volcanic deck profile. So I'm really excited to do this for you guys because this deck is an extremely fun deck to play that I've changed a lot since the last time I profiled it. And I really quickly want to give a shout out to Pain96, who's still waiting on volcanic support. And don't worry, Pain, I'm right there with you. We're both still waiting on that volcanic support, but there's hope because of the new Fire Duelist pack. So without further ado, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe, hit the bell there so you can come part of notification squad and definitely check out the patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards like getting your name description every single video getting you sign cards in the mail and even getting to request a deck profile every single month to your patron so without further ado let's get straight on into this so first off, we're going to be playing three copies of Volcanic Rocket, which is one of our best normal summons in the entire deck. This card is the ability when this card is summoned, you get to add a Blaze Accelerator card from your deck or graveyard to your hand, which is an awesome effect to be able to search out our copy of Reload. We then play three copies of Volcanic Scattershot. This card is a definite three of the deck, and is a really good card because when this card is sent to the graveyard, you inflict 500 points of damage to your opponent. And if this card is sent to the graveyard for the effects of a blaze accelerator card you can send two volcanic scatter shots from your hand and deck to the graveyard to destroy all monsters that your opponent controls which is a great effect to be able to just board wipe your opponent's monsters and also do 1500 points of burn damage to your opponent we then play three copies of volcanic shell volcanic shell is a definite three of them the deck that has usually once per turn while this card's in the graveyard you can pay 500 life points to add another copy of volcanic shell from your deck to your hand which is a really good effect to be able to use especially with your copies of Reload because this card is going to keep your hand stacked. We then play three copies of Royal Firestorm Guards. This card is basically Pot of Avarice for the deck because this card has the ability that when this card is normal summon, you can target four power monsters in your graveyard and shuffle all four of those cards into the deck and then draw two cards, which is an awesome effect for this deck to have. We then play a single copy of Volcanic Slicer. Volcanic Slicer is a good one of the deck to be able to combo with Ties of the Brethren, but it has the ability that once per turn you can inflict 500 points of damage to your opponent, but if you activate this effect, you cannot attack during this turn, which is not that big of a deal because you're basically just using this card to get it on your side of the field, which is really good with Ties of the Brethren. We then play a single copy of Barrier Statue of the Inferno. This card basically makes it so neither player can special summon monsters except fire monsters, which is totally fine for us. They can lock down the opponent. But this card, since it is a pyro monster, is super easy to combo with Ties of the Brethren with your copies of your Royal Firestorm Guards, Volcanic Slicer, Volcanic Rocket, or this card are all targets for Ties of the Brethren to be able to summon out any of those cards from the deck, which is really nice. We then also play a single copy of Volcanic Doomfire, pretty much our boss monster of the deck. This card is super easy to get to in this deck, and it's just a really awesome one of in the build. Now, this card is an awesome fact that this card cannot be normal summoner set. This card can only be special by sending a face up tri blaze accelerator that you control to the graveyard. And during your opponent's battle phase, your opponent must attack this monster with any attack with your monster that they control. And when this card destroys a monster and sends it to the graveyard, you destroy all monsters that your opponent controls and inflict. 500 points of damage to your opponent for each monster that's destroyed by this effect which is a pretty good effect to be able to use so that's it for the monsters guys let's get into the spells So for the spells, we're going to be playing two copies of Foolish Burial Goods. Foolish Burial Goods is a really good two of the deck to be able to get your copy of Blaze Accelerator Reload into the graveyard. We then play three copies of Magic Planter. Magic Planter is a definite three of the deck, and I really love this card as a three of the build because it lets you send a face-up continuous trap that you control to the graveyard to be able to draw two cards, which is going to help you dig into the deck, especially with all the floodgates we're playing in this build. We're then playing three copies of ties of the brethren ties of the brethren is a definite three of in this deck and super helps out with your plays to help you swarm the field because you pay 2000 light points then target a level four lower monster that you control and for the rest of the turn after this effect resolves you cannot special summon monsters and also you special summon out two monsters for from your deck with the same type and attribute and level as the monsters you target with this effect but with different names from each other and the monster you targeted and you cannot conduct your battle phase to turn you activate this effect which is not that big of a deal because you're just trying to swarm the field so that's it for the spells guys let's get into the traps 
So for the traps, we're going to be playing three copies of a really awesome mystery card, which I'm actually going to play face down, and we're going to play Guess That Card. This card is super cool in this particular deck, and a really cool old school card, and that's your only hint about this card, but definitely comment down below what you think this card, and we're going to reveal this card in three two, one, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell there so you can come part of Notification Squad, and let's go ahead and see what that mystery three of actually is, and that's going to be three copies of Magic Cylinder. I know, it's three copies of Magic Cylinder. It's so good in this particular deck because it just does that extra bit of burn damage to close out games, and it's super funny to be able to play in this deck. It has the ability that when an opponent's monster declares an attack, you target the attacking monster, negate the attack, and if you do, inflict damage to your opponent, equal that monster's attack, which can be a lot of damage that your opponent is taking off this card's effect, which is really interesting for this build. We're then playing three copies of Solemn Judgment. Solemn Judgment is just really really good in this deck to say no to basically anything that you want to with this card and it's just really good we then play two copies of summon limit starting to get into the floodgates this card is really good as a two of them the deck because neither player can summon more than twice per turn which is not that big of a deal for us because we're usually only summoning twice per turn anyways we then play three copies of blaze accelerator reload which is one of the best cards in the entire deck this card is a definite three of because this card's name becomes tri blaze accelerator accelerator while in the spell and trap card zone and during either player's main phase you can send one volcanic card from your hand to the graveyard and if you do draw a card and you can only use effect of this card once per turn and during either player's main phase you can banish this card from your graveyard and then send a volcanic card from your deck to the graveyard which is an awesome effect to be able to use especially with your copy of scattershot we then play three copies of rivalry of warlords we're essentially only summoning pyro monsters in the deck so this card comes in extremely handy in the deck to be able to lock down the opponent we then also play three copies of gozen match gozen match is also a really good three of because this card has the ability to make it so each player can only control one attribute so when you basically lock down your opponent they can only control one attribute and one type of monster and since we're only summoning pyro in this deck that's not a problem for us which is really cool so that's it for the main deck guys let's get into the extra deck So for the extra deck, we're going to be playing a single copy of Infernal Flame Vixen, which the reason I'm actually playing this card as a one-up is because of Gozen and Rivalry. This card is a pyro and a fire, and one of the only pyro and fire XZ monsters in the entire game, which is actually insane. But this card is super good because once per turn, you can detach the material from this card, and this card gains 500 attack until your opponent's in phase. And when this card with 2,500 or more attack destroys them, uh, is destroyed, you can target three monsters monsters in any graveyard and banish those targets which is an interesting effect but this card can be summoned under goes and rivalry which is why i'm playing this card as a one of we then play a single copy of baguska because sometimes you do need to lock down your opponent and this card is just a really good option especially with how you can just summon out all sorts of level fours in this deck we then play a single copy of tornado dragon tornado dragon is a good one of in this build because this card just pops spells and traps which is really nice play a single copy of abyss dweller abyss dweller is a good one of in this deck because sometimes you need a little bit of water in this deck with all this fire but it's still really good to be able to lock down the graveyard we then play a single copy of double a zeus double a zeus is really good as a one of in the deck to be able to board wipe the field along with your copies of scatter shot but this card is really easy to make in the deck we then play a single copy of Underworld Goddess. This is just here for an option to be able to summon to your side of the field to be able to out your opponent's board. We then play a single copy of Access Code. Access Code's a great one of the deck to be able to pop cards on the field. And it's a definite one of in the deck. We then play a single copy of Nightmare Unicorn. Unicorn is a good one of to be able to spin cards. And it's just a fantastic card in the deck. We then play a single copy of the Fire Charmer Ablaze. This card is a spellcaster, but it is a fire monster, so this card is super easy to summon to our side of the field. And if our opponent does Ash us, we can bring that copy of Ash back to our side of the field, which can help us climb into other Link monsters, which is really good. 
We then play a single copy of Nightmare Phoenix to be able to pop spells and traps. One copy of Nightmare Cerberus to be able to pop monsters. One copy of IP Mascarena. IP Mascarena is really good in this deck to be able to make your copy of Unicorn during the opponent's turn. Salaman Great Alan Mirage because we do normal summon out monsters with less than a thousand attack every so often, but it really gives us a little bit of protection in the deck, which is super nice. We then also play a single copy of Link Karibo. Link Karibo is really good because we do have Volcanic Shell in the deck, so you can normal summon out your copy of Shell and then make a Link Karibo, which is pretty good to be able to just summon this card out to your side of the field to give you a little bit of protection. We then also play a single copy of Relinquished Anima. Relinquished Anima is a great one in the deck to be able to gobble up a monster that it points to, which is just really nice. So, that's it for the deck, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. This deck is super fun to be able to play. If you guys have never played Volcanic before, you definitely should give this deck a try because it's just really interesting how many times you can actually destroy your opponent's field with copies of Scattershot, especially the cards like your Firestorm Guards, recycling it over and over again. So, anyways, guys, this is Dark Arm Duels. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell in there so you can come from our notification squad, and we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.